KFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 30, NASDAQ off 19, S&P's off 4.5, gold contract. Gold contract uh, up $5.70, 1402. You're going to have gold uh, over uh, the 1400 mark. And if you do go, go back and we take a look at this, what you're going to see here, folks, uh, inside the gold market is that it's caught uh, really a, a good size bid. Uh, you are talking about breaking a consolidation that goes all the way back to 2013. So I suspect you're going to get more movement now next week, but this is quite a move. And this is also saying that gold can make a run now to the 1794 as well as its all-time high of 1920. And if we just cut to the chase, what this is going to be about, okay, it's about buying, of course, meaning that the market has been buying it. Uh, when we go over to the U.S. dollar, what you're going to see is that the bottom line is that uh, the dollar came down off its high with volume. This is the third day in a row, which we haven't got since last October. We've been in this consolidation since last October. What we did do inside the dollar index is we broke the trend on the way up. Uh, we did 30,000 contracts today. On Wednesday, we did 29,000 contracts. Yesterday, we did 28,000. So bottom line, you came off this high. You did come off the high with volume. That's saying lower prices coming at us. And the lower part of the consolidation that the dollar index has been in is the 94 mark. Uh, bottom line, if we come into this 94 mark and you come in with some volume, guess what? Then, then it's going to be game down to the 89. You know, when we take this dollar index, it's really intriguing, actually, when you, when you put it back um, quite some time, you can see that, you know, you did, you did a nice bounce off this low that was established out here in January of 2018. Uh, but guess what? It can get right back into that level uh, pretty quickly. S&Ps, the S&Ps as well as the NASDAQ 100, they look that they still want to finish their ABC structure uh, on the way up. And notes and bonds still want lower price, a uh, higher price, lower yield. Uh, bottom line, what we did in both of those today, you pull back, you pull back with light volume. We have gone higher each in the last four weeks with volume. Uh, right now, the 10-year is at 2.05. Uh, this week, it says, uh, this mark there, it says 2.003, but we did break the 2% mark. We're at 1.97. Recap, Dow Industrials down 34, NASDAQ off 19, S&P's off 3.5. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking right back here, Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Have a great one, folks.